Hi everyone, and welcome back to Snap Magic Channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS 13 on a desktop or laptop. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then do subscribe. First, you'll need the CPU-Z program, to figure out what kind of processor you're using. CPU-Z, is free program that helps you in identifying hardware details such as processor, memory, hard disk, and more. My computer uses a processor called Comet Lake. Now I will create the corresponding installer for it. Here are the files to install on both desktops and laptops. I'm installing macOS on my desktop, therefore, I'll search for the necessary files, in the desktop folder. Here I found a compatible EFI file for my processor called Comet Lake. You download the files that are compatible with your processor. Now download macOS Recovery. To create a bootable installer, you need a USB drive of at least 2 GB in size. Here I use a USB drive of 8 GB. One more thing to note is that you plug your USB stick into a USB 2.0 port to install macOS. Select the USB drive, then right click and format it as FAT32. You may experience some difficulty trying to format your USB drive as FAT32 if it is larger than 32 GB. Therefore, I recommend you use a USB drive less than 32 GB in size. After formatting the USB drive, unzip the downloaded files. Now copy the EFI folder onto the USB drive. This folder helps you boot the macOS operating system. Unzip macOS recovery. Now, copy the com.apple.recovery.boot folder into the USB drive. After copying the files, enter BIOS setup. In the boot section, disable CFG lock, and then enable CSM support. In the boot option menu, set the USB drive as the first boot option. Save and exit the setup. Select macOS recovery and press enter. Select your preferred language and press next. Click on disk utility. Next, you format the partition before installing macOS. Choose the installation disk and then click erase. Name the disk. And in the format option, select APFS and click on Erase. Now click on Reinstall macOS Ventura. And press Continue. Make sure you are connected to the internet. Must be through a LAN. Agree to the license agreement. Select the disk you wish to install, and press continue. It will take about one hour to complete the installation. Your computer will automatically reboot numerous times throughout the installation process until it is finished. If you encounter this problem, switch off the computer by pressing and holding the power button, then turn it back on. Select a region, and press continue. Select your preferred language, and press continue. Not now. Press continue. Not now. Set up later. 
Agree to the terms and conditions. Enter your full name. Create password. Now press continue. Select time zone and press continue. Choose your look and press continue. Now, on your keyboard, tap the key next to the shift key. There is a problem that needs to be solved. When you remove the USB drive, your computer cannot boot. So what to do? Now, open Safari and download the Chrome browser and install. Now, open the Chrome browser and search for Mount EFI. Click on the first link. Go to code and download the zip file. Now go to downloads, then double click to unzip the file. Open Mount EFI update. Double click Mount EFI command. Now, open the terminal, drag and drop the Mount EFI file into the terminal and press enter. Type Y and press enter. You will be asked to enter the admin password, set up in the previous step, to install Python. Now choose the disk to mount the boot partition. Here, the macOS installation hard drive is named macOS SSD. Type Q and enter to quit. Go to Finder and open the boot partition. In this partition, there are Windows boot files, so it doesn't allow you to boot macOS. Instead, you delete and replace those files with macOS boot files. Go to the folder named EFI on the USB drive, and copy the folders named boot and OC. You paste them into the boot partition of the disk. Now remove the USB drive and restart the computer. Here, you choose Reset NVRAM and Reboot. You have successfully installed macOS 13 on your computer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.